Well, good morning, weekenders. It is Saturday morning, dark and early, and uh, we're not doing too good. We're uh, stuck in dead stop traffic. I woke up a little too early this morning. I was planning on going fly initially, and then I realized that the sun doesn't come up for an hour and a half, almost two hours. So uh, I decided to drive up to the Calaveras County Fairgrounds and go over to a, it's like an old school BMX race thing where they have some side hack BMX races. So I figured that'd be pretty interesting to go to. Got uh, about 15, 20 minutes down the road and uh, now I'm in traffic. So there's a tow truck passing by right now. I'm guessing whatever it is has just happened uh, just now, so. It, it's probably going to be a little longer until we can get out of this mess, but I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, we're uh, at the scene of the accident. Looks like we've got a car. Oh, there you go. There's a flipped over car. There's a car that hit the wall or something. We are back on the road. All right, weekenders, I have made it to my destination. The sun has come up. I'm at the Frogtown Classic BMX weekend thing. So it's like a retro BMX race, pretty much. And uh, I really wish I was out here racing. Look at this, right here, side hack BMX bike. So I have a side hack BMX bike, but it has no brakes. And I have no one to either drive me on it or ride on the side, whichever one. I'd be fine with either position, either the driver or the monkey. But, uh, yeah, we're over here to go check this thing out. This is supposed to be the first annual one of these events. So, really just coming out here to uh, make sure that it lasts the second year also. Alright weekenders, I have left the BMX track and driven down the road a good ways over to some mountain bike trails in Santa Cruz. Uh, they got some good rain the other day so the dirt should be perfect. Very much looking forward to it but I'm uh, a little upset. It was a lot of pretty much stop traffic to get over here. Very frustrated. And now the sun's going to go down shortly, so I have to hurry up and go try and get a ride in. Oh yeah, a real good time. Yeah. Oh, I know you got something else for me. A secret language speaking in tongues. Snake like, don't like, you on the run. Travel, dancing, I don't know what you are, you are, you are, you are. Summer, soaring over my heart. We're both dancing over the dark side. I don't Oh, no. 
so sorry, weekenders. I, I don't know what happened. I really thought that I had pressed record before I got to all of the super sick downhill. And evidently, I pressed stop record. So that's why you didn't get to see the sick footage of uh, the absolutely perfect conditions on this bike ride. But believe me, I mean, look at the moisture in this dirt, guys. All time conditions out here. So glad I came out here. And uh, yeah, next time I'll try and record the whole thing. Well guys, uh, sorry I didn't give you an update for a little while. It's actually Sunday morning now. Um, it's still dark out. So I tried to drive all the way home last night, got a little tired, ended up stopping over here on the, the side of the road, getting a little shut eye. It's now 5 a.m., time to get back on the road. It's only like an hour drive home, so I should be home pretty quick. Well, I've made it back home. Uh, the sun is just now starting to come up. You can kind of see the sky glowing a little bit, but I'm gonna go and take a shower. All right, guys, I feel so much better now, so much cleaner. The sun is also up, as you guys just saw, and uh, there's a big storm coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and get in a little bit of flying today because I'm probably not gonna be able to fly tomorrow. Maybe even not the next day. So I'm going to tap Baby Ace, do some uh, practice landings and stuff, and then might end up going somewhere. We'll see where we go. So we're done flying the plane. Uh, ended up not going anywhere, but still had a whole lot of fun flying around. Over here at Hart Park now. I'm gonna go on a bit of a bike ride. This one's gonna be a little bit different though. So the reason why this is gonna be a bit of a different bike ride, is come on a different bike. I'm actually pushing it right now because it only has one gear. And uh, just now I got to the start of the trail, 
already having to walk. Another day. So last weekend, when I was riding my bike out here, I was uh, thinking, you know, I love my new Z-Road Belt Drive gearbox bike, but the trails are just uh, kind of still the same. Especially when you're just on another full suspension trail bike. I figured I needed to get something to spice up the trails. So this new bike has no suspension, no gears, and uh, only a coaster brake. So no hand brakes. You gotta pedal backwards to stop. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. Okay guys, just made it to the top of the first climb. And uh, this is the new bike. Brand new State Bicycles Co. Clunker. This is the uh, National Parks Edition Yellowstone, which is basically just fancier paint job. But uh, yeah, yeah, 650B wheels and very heavy, no suspension. I haven't done any downhills yet. A little nervous. All right, I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, already almost died on this thing. That's pretty scary. Not this time. So I've been back home for a little while now, guys. One thing that you didn't see on the, the bike riding video is that my cranks actually came loose on the bike. Now, uh, this new bike has a square taper crank set, so they're kind of known for coming loose. Very common problem. So, uh, I just made these little pieces right here uh, in the garage show you what they're for.
All right, so these little pieces that I made mount onto the bottle cage bosses right here. You get your eight millimeter Allen and uh, slip it right in. That way, when your cranks come loose, you just pull over, tighten them up. Man, the sun is going down quicker and quicker nowadays. I'm not looking forward to uh, after the time actually changes and it really goes down early. I'm sure you guys could have guessed it. It is the end of the day, the end of the weekend, the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed living it. See you next time. Croissant! <laughs>